Welcome to stage 19 of the Giro d'Italia, the queen stage of this year's race. 185 rather mountainous kilometers from Venaria Riale to Bardonecchia and the climb, the fearsome climb of the Jaffrau. Oh, he's right near the back. He ate a big what? jersey. That's not good. That's not good. He was in about eighth or ninth. Well, perhaps he's not feeling too good. Quite often, you see riders just give themselves a little bit of a sliding space, but he's moving towards the back of this group oh, now. No. This isn't good at all. This is at this point in the race. There is very little coming back from this because there, there is hardly anywhere to get your second breath to, to try and sit back, recover, recoup. He's well, got he's got no bottle on his bike. He is he having a bad moment or is this the form that he's got now? Have his legs finally dropped off in this Giro d'Italia? Nearly lost, approaching a minute already. He's, he, he is out of the jersey as it stands at the moment on the road. He is well over 28 seconds back now, I feel, on the Tom de Moulin. Looking like more of a mountain bike race at the moment. Ellison driving hard. They're, race, race. they're racing this guy. They're not just riding tempo. They're actually they're attacking. They are racing this climb at the top on the hardest section now. The yeah, is trying to distance these riders as best he can. Several riders now dropping away. And Froome looks like he did a little bit of an acceleration. There. De Moulin has actually been gapped. Now Thibaut Pino is there. Domenico Pozzovivo. Well, this is amazing. Richard Carapaz is also there. Great riding by Sebastian Reichenbach as well. Pozzovivo on the back end of this group. Pozzabibo has cracked, Formolo has gone, what Pauls will not assist, Sam Omen has been ejected from that elite group out in front as well. Froome now, he goes on the offensive, he goes on the attack over the top of this final climb and nobody at the moment can go with him. Well Chris Froome has now set this race on fire, Kenny Ellison to soften them up, the rest of the field with numerous body blows. They're all on the ropes, and then whilst they're on the ropes, the hammer blow has come. De Moulin is starting to drop the other riders. So he is, well, he's still got Thibaut Pino. The race is imploding, it's going to be changing. 10 minutes and 31 seconds now for the Mario Rosa. Four times a winner of the Tour de France, winner of the Vuelta. Is he heading here to Giro d'Italia victory? It's only 37 seconds, but he crosses the line first. He takes the Chima Coppi and the prestige that comes with that. And now the plummet down into the Valley Road. Very, very sad to see Simon Yates. I'm not too sure if he's carrying an illness or something, because something is happening. This clearly isn't right. He's gone from absolutely flying, well, to creeping up this climb. So, so sad to see this. Confirmation, Chris Froome is now the virtual leader, the Mario Rosa. They had 75 kilometers to go and now under the Flam Rouge and there he is still the virtual Malia Rosa on the road. Who would have thought it at the start of today? 22 seconds to the good, but Chris Froome, masterful performance, takes the win on top of the Jaffra. Absolutely incredible. He hit out early. Look at what the staff, the team staff, they knew the plan and it has delivered. Let's have a look at the confirmation of the stage result. Chris Froome takes his second win of this Giro d'Italia after the victory on the Monte Zoncalan. Richard Callap has a fine second place, three minutes behind. Tupapino gets third and the final time bonus. Then we have Miguel Angel Lopez, the best young rider. Tom de Moulin, well, he now sits in second overall. Chris Froome leads 80 hours, 21 minutes and 59 seconds. Tom de Moulin second at 40 seconds. And Tibor Pino, well, he sits third at four minutes and 17. Chris, the most epic ride of your career so far? <laughs> Felt like it. I mean, yeah, I don't think I've ever attacked 80 k's to go before like that on my own and gone all the way to finish. But the the team did such a fantastic job to, to set that up for me. I mean, it was uh, going to take something really special today to, to try and, first of all, get rid of uh, Simon to get, get away from Dumoulin and Pozzo Vivo and uh, I mean to go from fourth to first is I I wasn't going to do that on the last climb alone so I had to try from from far out and Col de la Finestra was the perfect place to do it gravel road uh, I guess reminds me a little bit of riding on the roads back in Africa um, just just felt good and thought now it's now, it's now and ever I have to try and how does it feel to have a 40 second lead over Dumoulin right now yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, uh, obviously still a really hard day tomorrow, but uh, I mean, the legs are feeling good and I've been feeling better and better as this race has gone on. Even today out front, I mean, I gave it everything, but I also just tried to 
try to stay within my limits and try and try to stay within myself there. So hopefully we can finish this off now. Tonight.